Hi folks and welcome to this update on Mothlin and Luna. So first of all I'll talk about Luna. So in my last update Luna was just about to launch on Kickstarter and I backed it. So since then the Kickstarter campaign has completed and it was a really successful campaign raising over three million dollars. There was a bit of a problem at one point because Digital Dream Labs who owns the rights to Victor and Cosmo filed a copyright claim which was unfounded and anyway that's all being sorted out now and the Luna project is still going ahead. I paid a bit extra for Christmas shipping so I should receive my Luna within the next four weeks. The deadline to confirm your address details is the 30th of November so presumably they'll start shipping them out after that. So the Kickstarter campaign is complete now, but it is still possible to reserve a Luna as it's launched on a second campaign on a different platform, but those won't be shipped until April next year. Luna is now available on the Indiegogo platform. It's a bit more expensive than it was on Kickstarter when it first became available. If you want to reserve one now, it's $359 and that's for the Luna and its, its game accessories and a dinosaur outfit accessory. And then it's $379 if you want to buy a Luna with the charging dock. So you can charge Luna up with a USB, I think, if you don't get the charging dock. But if you want it to come with a charging dock that it can return to, then that's $379. And if you want the whole lot, so you want the Luna, you want the game accessories and the dinosaur outfit and the charging dock, the whole lot, then that's $399. So it does cost more than it did when it was first available on Kickstarter. But when they are going to be available in the shops later, it will actually be more expensive still, so you're still getting it at a part discounted price. So that's it for Luna, and now I'll do the update on Mofflin. So finally, after waiting an absolute age, Mofflin is finally starting to be shipped. So Mofflin is being shipped to the Kickstarter backers first before the Indiegogo folks like myself. So comments first started appearing on Kickstarter by backers who said that they had received their Mofflin a couple of weeks ago. Um, though people said that there wasn't a lot of information that came with the Mofflin. There was a QR code that just took you to the home page and there was just a card included showing how to charge it up. So no real instruction manual, unfortunately. So as the Mofflins have finally started to ship, I thought I'd start a Facebook group and this is the Facebook group. We currently have 44 members. I thought it was a good idea to start a group so that people can share information 
especially seen as Vanguard industry industries are notoriously bad for being able to communicate with, which is particularly concerning as some people have left comments saying that they're having problems with the mufflin that they have received with it not working properly and those though those people have tried to contact Vanguard they've just been met with silence. The shipping also seems to be going at a snail's pace. Some people have left comments saying that they've received their mufflin and they've left their backer number and the highest backer number that I've seen is 280. So it looks like they've only shipped currently about 300 mufflins and that's taken them a couple of weeks. So at this rate, it doesn't look like I'll receive my mufflin until after Christmas, hopefully the quality control will get a bit better before then and it'll make it more likely that when I receive my mufflin it will actually work. I will say though that there is a member of the mufflin Facebook group who has received his mufflin and he has been sharing videos of the mufflin and it looks absolutely adorable. The sounds and the movements are really lifelike and it's just a, a wonderful little creation. It's just such a pity that Vanguard are so unresponsive that they've had such long delays that now that they're finally shipping, they're shipping so slowly and that the quality control hasn't been up to much in that they've shipped some mufflins that have been faulty. So folks, still looks like it's going to be quite a while before I receive my mufflin. Big fingers crossed that when I do finally receive it, it'll be working okay. But that's about it for this update on Luna and mufflin. Hopefully the next video that I make will be an unboxing before Christmas of Luna. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.